Maynard James Keenan is currently out on the road celebrating his 60th birthday with the lineup that has him working overtime. He's performing two sets with two of his bands, both Pussifer and A Perfect Circle, plus very special guests from the legendary Primus. I had the opportunity to catch this show down in Raleigh, North Carolina, and it was a unique experience in that the music was going nonstop. There's no set changeover. They made the show action-packed. Pussifer will come out and do a couple songs. Then immediately Primus will walk out. They had, I believe, three drum kits up on stage, and it was really neat. I've never seen anything quite like that before. I don't think most tours could make that work where you could break up the sets. But for this, this was really the perfect execution of just two of Maynard's bands and some close friends and Primus up there. And I just thought it was very well done. Maynard gave a new interview talking about his 60th birthday, his legendary career. And he was asked about a topic he is very passionate about, which is prohibiting cell phones at live performances. If you followed Tool's career or Maynard's career for any length of time, you know that this is a strong subject for him. I don't know if that's reflected in the fan base or not, but if you go to a Tool show, you pretty much know they don't want you filming. Now, this is in contrary to most every other show you could go to, where at times there are annoying seas of phones in the crowd. Whether or not those fans should all be ejected from the show just comes up to what you're willing to tolerate. I can say for myself, if I was taking a short cell phone clip on my phone and that's what it took for me to get kicked out and I didn't get a refund, I'm probably not coming back again. And so, uh, we're going to look at what Maynard had to say. You will see that he feels very strongly about this. And hey, that's his prerogative. It's his event. At the end of the day, he can enact whatever policies he wants at his shows. How the fans feel really comes down to your opinions in the comments. But first, I want to bring your attention just to illustrate how strongly he feels about this. At a show back in 2017, where his band A Perfect Circle was performing, they reportedly ejected a whopping 60 fans from the show who were said to have been violating that rule, taking pictures and taking videos. So he intends to enforce this strictly. It doesn't seem as though there's too much wiggle room in this policy for him. So let me show you what I'm talking about. There's not a lot of detail on what the fans were doing specifically. If it was just enough to get kicked out to take your phone out and take a few seconds of video, or if they were really being egregious, filming the entire show, filming nonstop, I think it's perfectly warranted to kick them out at that point. But Let's take a look at this. I want to show you this report from Metal Injection. So as you can see here from Metal Injection, it says over 60 people reportedly tossed from a perfect circle show for violating no photos policy over the weekend. Maynard James Keenan has a thing with cell phones. All concerts from Tool, a perfect circle, and his solo project, Pussifer, all ban the use of cell phones to shoot photo or video during the live set. In fact, as A Perfect Circle is setting up during their current run of arena dates, fans are greeted with this message about the no photo policy. Maynard is notorious for being a fan, no fan of flashes of light, which is that's totally understandable. If you're if you're if you're throwing flash up at him, I can see why he would be mad about that. Uh, it's his show, so he gets to set the rules right. Well, this isn't just a warning. Metal Sucks reports that over 60 people were ejected from the band's Pennsylvania show this past Saturday. And the general manager of the venue confirmed the news in the comments on Instagram, responding to a friend that managed to snap some photos of a perfect circle. Now, this is just a sign of the times here. This is from 2017. They go, how do you feel about the policy? Some fans and attendants pay anywhere from 50 to 80 to get in. 50 to 80 is a bargain these days, which is emblematic of just how crazy and expensive uh, live concerts have gotten, and I'm going to get to that in just a minute. Again, I think it matters what the fans were doing specifically. If they were just taking pictures and videos for 20 seconds or something, I think it's egregious to kick them out. But it's clear that he feels that he is going to strictly enforce this policy. But let's hear what he has to say about it. Let's listen to the rationale behind this decision from a great new interview that he just did with the Phoenix New Times. I've linked to it in the description. They cover a lot of ground other than just the cell phone topic that I thought was interesting. But let's focus on that specifically in this instance. The interviewer asked, you're quite adamant at all your shows that people put their phones away. Why is that? He says, it's rude, not to us. I mean, I just did a whole photo shoot. I'm not afraid of cameras and I'm not afraid of phones. I've got mine right here. It's a very useful tool. He continues, there's no way you can actually capture what's happening in a live environment on a phone. You're missing the opportunity of actually absorbing in real time what's happening. 
the art of storytelling, being able to actually recount what you saw without having to record it, training your brain to live in the moment and see the thing, but more importantly, stop annoying the person behind you. It's annoying, it's distracting, and it's distracting for us too. So put it the fuck away, grow the fuck up. It's only two hours. At the end of the show, we usually let you film a song. So you get your souvenir. The interviewer asks, have you ever at the end of the show decided against letting the crowd film? He goes, absolutely. If we have to throw out a dozen people because they're being arrogant assholes and selfish pricks, you're annoying the people around you. I know there are all kinds of arguments like, well, rem the removing of all those people is annoying. Uh-huh, it's called consequences. This is what happens here. You do it in a theater, you do it in a play, you do it in an orchestral performance, you get removed. You don't get to do it. Do it at an opera, you're leaving. It's rude. You're here to experience the thing. You paid all that money to be here to witness what we do, not what you do. So you can clearly see here, this is a pretty charged up issue with Maynard. He almost becomes kind of agitated at this question where you can see coming out just how important it is to him in the way that he talks about this subject. Now, there are a few things about this situation that are worth pointing out. Number one, Maynard can enact whatever policies he wants in his show. He has every right to do that. Go right ahead, kick people out for taking pictures at your shows. If you want to, he's done that. I think he'll continue to do that. So I think that's fair. And as he pointed out, he does allow fans the opportunities in most circumstances to take videos and photos at the end of the show. That's fine as well. For me, it's the way he talks about the subject. It's almost like a teacher scolding the classroom. Uh, and so he's clearly very mad and fed up with this, but I don't, I don't agree at all that just by taking your phone out and taking videos or pictures that you're an arrogant asshole or a selfish prick. He, this is a big deal for him. He sees his performances in a very certain way and he wants the audience to see it in the same way as he does. He wants it to be seen as if it's likened to a Broadway play, but I do think there's a difference. I think that Maynard and his bands over the years have written songs that are of really deep personal importance to people that move them. Maybe it's helped them at times in their lives where it's almost irresistible. Even with the rule, if you play that one song that has that personal meaning to them, they're gonna almost be irresistible to pull that phone out and take a clip or take a picture or maybe send it to someone else who it means a lot to in ways that I don't think if you go to see Hamilton, the actor that's portraying Hamilton may not have that same kind of sentimental value for you. So I think in some ways it's kind of comparing apples to oranges because when I go to a live show, a big part of the experience, it's not just hearing the songs, seeing the people who wrote the songs performing the songs as well. So it's a little bit different. That's why when you get into like, oh, the Kiss avatars and things like that, maybe I'll go see that one time, but it's not Gene Simmons and it's not Paul Stanley up there. And also it's not Ace and Peter. So this situation is complicated, but when he talks about these people and he refers to them in that way, that's arrogance. And that's, to me, you come across, I'm sure he is grateful. It sounds ungrateful to refer to people as arrogant assholes and selfish pricks simply for taking videos. Now he presents this also as if this is something that is highly annoying the audience around them. I did some polling on that and I found that that's not the case. I, I asked my audience, you should be kicked out for taking videos or photos at a show. And this was the response through polling. So here's the poll I conducted over on Instagram. If you'd like to participate in the discussion over there, I highly recommend it. I post a lot on Instagram. So the question is, you should be kicked out for taking videos at shows. 18% agree, 5% strongly agree. So that's pulling less than 25%. And then you've got 80% of the vote there about disagreeing or strongly disagreeing with the idea that if you're a concert goer, you should be kicked out of the performance for taking videos at shows. There are people in the comments who also go, I've never even been annoyed by this. And yes, there are people who are ridiculous in the way that they film shows. So again, if you're out there and you get mad at this subject, I understand where you're coming from. I respect your frustrations. I'm just pointing out here. I personally don't agree with kicking people out for taking pictures and videos at shows. Can he do it? Yes but a lot of the fans don't agree with this practice. I think if you're gonna have this policy and you're gonna talk about it in that way, just don't talk about the policy because it doesn't sound good when you're, these people, whether you whether they're breaking the rule or not, like you shouldn't be trashing them in my view. And, and it comes across, that comes across as arrogance because the reason you're up on stage is because these people showed up and they're, the entertainment business in general 
is asking more than ever before from the audiences who go to these live events because of what they're charging. The prices are crazy now. And so, I mean, I, I paid well over $100 for my seat at the show and it wasn't even that close of a seat. And I just know how hard people work to be able to attend these shows. And so I feel for them. And I don't think you should have to be fearful of being kicked out of a show just because you want to take a short clip. I know that Maynard, these cell phone clips don't mean a lot to him and maybe he doesn't look back on it. But if you're a person who only gets to go to a couple shows a year, you can bet you're going to look back on it and maybe you're going to share it with your friends and family who don't get to go. It's just the reality of what it is. I'm sure he's going to keep blocking people from shows. I'm sure he's going to keep doing that. He has every right to do it. I just wish we should be dogging the people that are coming to these shows and pulling up, but that's just my two cents. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. As always, be sure to subscribe for the latest news and updates right here at Rockfeed.